Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, if you're new here, maybe start with Baja day one and then you can get caught up. So I am in La Paz, um, Baja del Sur, and it is hot down here. So I wanted to give a recap of day three, but this is actually day four because the weather conditions yesterday on Tecolote Beach were just not good for filming. It was incredibly windy. It blew all afternoon, it blew all evening, and it blew all night. And I, my tent was covered in sand, I was covered in sand. And get, getting up this morning, it continued to blow. So um, there was just no way I was gonna be able to film. So I thought I would stop here and give a recap. So I started yesterday in San Bruno, uh, stayed in a hotel. And I'm glad I did that because I was able to get rested, get up pretty early in the morning, and head out. I woke up at 5.30 a.m not for the sunrise but because i had about 370 miles to ride yesterday and my first three days uh, in baja i've only been averaging about 40 miles an hour if you include stops so not making great time i think i do about 60 65 on the roads so i'm not getting places very quickly and i was expecting it to be a really long ride yesterday and also quite hot so after getting the bike packed um, i split and got going. Rode through uh, Mulahe and I was really surprised at how much of an oasis that is. It is um, a, a river that runs through the valley into the ocean, a dense palm tree forest, which was pretty cool. Should have got gas there, but I didn't and I proceeded on. So what ended up happening is that I was getting short on gas getting into Laredo. It was a little bit further than I thought. So I did actually have to stop and use the spare fuel tank that I had. I didn't stop in Laredo, I just passed through and headed out. And so when I was on my way out of Laredo, I had a bug fly up my sleeve and I could feel it stinging me in the back. So I pulled over real quickly and was taking my jacket off and another guy also traveling on his motorcycle pulled up. So I met Johannes, we talked for, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. He told me he was from Washington State and he had came down here and was planning to spend about three weeks in Mexico and he was heading over to the mainland. So I was a little bit jealous about how much time he has to ride through here. But that was cool meeting somebody else. I will say I have seen a lot of motorcycles riding through here. I've seen more motorcycles in the three days of riding through Baja than I've seen in all of the backcountry riding I've done in California. After um, leaving the Rado, I had to cross over the peninsula again to get to the west side. Stopped in Insurgentes where I grabbed some huevos rancheros. Now, um, the woman was having a hard time asking me how to order the egg, and uh, I wanted it solid. So it came out a bit rubbery, but it was fine. I, I was a little concerned that the meal may come out um, spicy, and I wasn't sure what to expect, but I'm pretty confident it was made gringo style, which was not spicy at all, but it, it did have a lot of flavor. So that was good. From there, hit the road and started heading south. I had a three hour ride, from Insurgentes to get to La Paz. It was getting hot. We made it into La Paz. It was hot, it was super hot. I rode along the, I don't know, the harbor, the bay here and then headed over to Tecolote Beach. I wanted to go to Balandra, but Balandra was closed. So I ended up having to go straight to Tecolote, which was, which was fine. And uh, got over there, there's some restaurants, stopped to eat. And just to give you an example of how bad my Spanish is, so they gave me the menu and I was looking at it and all I wanted was fish tacos, but nowhere on the menu did I see the word tacos. There was all kinds of other stuff. But I did see the word sopa, and I, I was thinking sopa as in sopapilla. Well, that's something doughy, it's bread-like. Um, and it said pescado, so I was like, I'll get the pescado sopa. What I didn't realize is sopa is soup. So I got fish soup brought to me uh, with corn tortillas. So what I did is I just took the corn tortillas, fished out the bits of soup and tomato, and put them on the tortilla and ate it that way. So yeah, my Spanish is bad. Uh, I, I'm not sure how I'm making it here. So anyway, it worked out okay. And then I headed down, set up my tent, 
Um, spent the evening watching the Pelicans dive bomb into the water, which, I mean, that was just endless, and dealt with the wind. So I, I think I eventually went to bed around nine o'clock and the wind blew all night long. I really didn't get much sleep. This is what it's been like all night. I thought the wind was gonna die down. Oh, once the sun went down, that was wrong. I think the best I've been able to do is doze a little bit here and there. But I really haven't slept. But I think I finally fell asleep around four o'clock. Um, like asleep asleep, I'd been dozing on and off, but from about four to five or 5.30 is about all I got. And then after that, six o'clock, I started getting up, packing up my stuff and calling it good. So tonight, um, I don't know, we'll have to see. Might be a hotel. Uh, it depends on what it's like on the west side. So thanks for watching. This was Baja day three filmed on day four here in La Paz, which is, it's beautiful. Um, the water here is not quite as warm as I had expected. It's, it's chilly for me to swim, so that's all right. Still enjoying it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this inspires you to get out and do some of your own riding, and I will see you out there. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that, ah, uh, start over because of that motorbike. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that, ah, oh, traffic is bad. Third time.